Now moving on to question 3. You are going to find the current through F5 Henry in data. If the voltage across it is given as V of T equals 30 T square where T is greater than 0 and then 0 where T is less than 0. Also, we are going to find the energy stored at T equals 5 seconds and then we are going to assume that I of V is greater than 0. So let's solve this question together. So first of all, we have the inductance of the inductor given in the question as 5 Henry's. Okay, so 5 Henry's. 5 Henry's. And then we want to first of all find the current through it. So we want to find the current through it. So the current I of T through an inductor is given by 1 over L times the integral from T naught to T of V of T dt plus I of T plus I of T where I of T is said to be the initial current in the conductor. Now in this example we are not giving the initial current in the conductor so we assume that the initial current I of T is said to be equal to zero okay so we want to find the current i of t so i of t is equal to we have one over the value of l is given here as five and then we have the integral from t naught to t now the voltage is 30 t square where t is greater than zero or when t is greater than zero and then it is zero when t is less than zero so when t is less than zero we are not interested in the value of the voltage because it is equal to zero so our focus is when t is greater than zero and that is where the voltage is given as 30 t square so we are going to perform integration over the interval that is from zero to t okay and the voltage is 30 t square t and then we have the initial current to be zero so basically from here we can have i of t to be equal to this is a constant 30 is a constant we pull out 30 we are going to have 30 over 5 and 30 over 5 is equal to 6 so we are going to have 6 on the outside and then the integral of 0 to t of t square dt so here we are going to perform integration we are going to integrate t square with respect to t so we are going to have 6 on the outside times when we integrate this we are going to have t to the power 3 we are going to increase the exponent by 1 and we divide by the total exponent so that is from 0 to t from 0 to t So here, 1 over 3 is a constant, so we pull that one out, so we are going to have 6 over 3, and then here we are going to have t cube. Therefore, we are going to have 2 times t cube, and this is the current i of t, or the current expression, when t is greater than 0, okay? The current expression when t is greater than 0. So next... We want to find we want to find from the question we want to find the energy stored at t equals five seconds so we want to find the energy energy when we have t equals five seconds okay so energy w is given as one over two times L times I square so here we have 1 over 2 times L that is giving us 5 times the current expression we have 2 T cube or square so here half of 5 is 2.5 so we have 2.5 and then we multiply that by here we are going to have 2 square which is 4 and then here we have t to the power 6 okay now 2.5 times 4 is 10 so we have 10 times t to the power 6 
Now, because we have t to be 5 seconds, then we are going to substitute 5 in place of t. So we have 10 times 5 all to the power 6. And that is giving us 156,250. 156,250 joules. So we can simply express this as 156.25 kilojoules. That is the energy stored in the inductor. Now let's move on to the last question. So for the last question, the terminal voltage of a 2 Henry inductor is V equals 10 into brackets 1 minus T volt. Find the current flowing through it at t equals 4 seconds and also the energy stored in it at t equals 4 seconds. We assume that the initial current I of 0 is equal to 2 amperes. So first of all, we want to find the current flowing through the inductor at t equals 4 seconds. So first we have the inductance of the inductor to be 2 Henry's and then we have the voltage V of T to be 10 times 1 minus T volt. So to find the current A, to find the current, we know current expression is giving, is giving us I of T, I of T is equal to 1 over L times the integral from 0, sorry from T naught, from T naught to T of V of T dt plus i of t the initial current so here we have this to be 1 over 2 then the integral from 0 to t the integral from 0 to t of v now v here is or v of t is 10 times 1 minus t okay dt plus here we are giving the initial current in the inductor to be 2 amperes 2 amperes now this is a constant we pull out the constant we are going to have 10 divided by 2 and 10 divided by 2 is 5 so we are going to have 5 on the outside times the integral from 0 to t of 1 minus t dt plus 2 so at this point what we are going to do is that we are going to perform integration of 1 minus t dt over this interval so here we have 5 that is a constant on the outside and then we integrate 1 we are going to have t minus we integrate t and then we have t square over 2 or from 0 to t plus 2 so here we are going to fix t and then 0 but because we have a 0 here I mean it's going to be the same expression so at this point since we want to find the current at t equals 4 seconds we say that at t equals 4 seconds then we are going to have let's say i of t we can say i of 4 seconds or i of t is equal to 5 times we have 4 minus 4 square over 2 plus 2 so this is basically 5 and then here we have 4 minus 16 over 2 now 16 over 2 is 8 okay 16 over 2 is 8 so we have 8 here and then plus 2 so what this means is that we are going to have 5 on the outside times negative 4 plus 2 now 5 times negative 4 that is negative 20 negative 20 plus 2 that is negative 18 so i of t at t equals 4 seconds is 
negative 18 amperes negative 18 amperes now b b we want to find we want to find the energy okay the energy stored in it at t at t equals four seconds the energy stored in it at t equals four seconds so we have energy so let me try to divide this okay so energy w is equal to half times l times i square okay from zero to four okay so here we are going to have one over two okay times l l is given here as two and then we have a bracket here so here we have i square from zero to four so we ask ourselves what is the current at t equals four seconds so the current at t equals four seconds we got that to be negative 18 amperes okay so negative 18 amperes so we put negative 18 here and then we square that minus we ask ourselves what is the current at t equals zero seconds so that is given in the question at t equals zero seconds we have the current to be 2 amperes so minus 2 and then also we square that so here we have 2 cancelling out 2 so we are left with 1 on the outside so 1 times in brackets we have negative 18 square that is giving us 324 minus 2 square is 4 now 324 minus 4 is 320 therefore we have the energy stored in the inductor at t equals 4 seconds to be 320 joules 320 joules